guys it's aziza today i'm going to be doing a office siren look to start off i'm going to hop right into eyes the office siren isn't like a thick bold liner it's more of a thin precise liner Okay, so basically something like that. I'm gonna do that to my other eye and I'll be right back. Once you have your eyeliner on and it's like as symmetrical as you could possibly get it, personally, um, this eye is a little thicker than the other one, but we're not gonna pay attention to that. You're gonna wanna go ahead and pop on some mascara and some lashes, so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be right back. Okay, once you have your lashes on, you're gonna wanna make sure that you stick to more of a cat eye lash instead of like something that's more thick, just because you wanna really make sure that it elongates your eyes. I don't know if I did that, but I definitely tried, you guys can be the judges of that in the comments to really set it off and give it that siren look we're gonna go ahead and do the fox inner corner and i'm basically i'm gonna try and make this as thin as possible so usually i do it a little thicker just because it's harder to do it thinner Once you have your inner corners done, basically I started from where the lash starts and then I drug it down to my inner corner and I basically just like made a very thin line. I made it as thin as I possibly can so it looks like really nice. Hopefully you guys can tell. I can definitely tell in the mirror but I don't know how noticeable it is through the camera. So now we're going to go ahead and prep the face. To moisturize my face, I went in with the Pond's 24-Hour Moisturizer. And for primer, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. For foundation, I'm using the Milani Conceal Plus Perfect. contour my face for contour i'm going to use the la girls pro concealer this is in the shade chestnut and a little goes a long way with this so literally i'm just going to do like a little dot right here and right here and a little bit on my chin and then i'm also going to contour my nose i'm going to blend that all out and then i'll be right back for concealer, I'm going to use the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. This is in the shade Natural.
up my face, I'm going to use the Fit Me Press Powder. This is in the shade Translucent. Once your face looks a little something like this, go ahead and let it bake for about 5 to 10 minutes, not too long, not too much. And if you want, you can also go ahead and press it in while you're at it. That's usually what I do. So I'm going to set a 5 minute timer and then I'll be right back. Okay, now we are done baking. I'm gonna go ahead and just take a fluffy brush and tap that into the skin. I'm not really dragging it. I'm gonna go in with the butter bronzer. This is Matte Moni. I think that's how you say it. To set my face, I'm going to use the Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. To finish the look all off, I'm going to highlight for highlighter. I'm using the Wet n Wild golden flower crown highlighter i'm going to use this to highlight my nose and to highlight my cheekbones and don't forget to pop on some chapstick or some lip gloss. Personally, me, I'm wearing lip gloss. The lip gloss I'm wearing is the Broadway Coconut Oil Lip Gloss. And with that being said, you guys, that is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please comment down in the comments if you guys think that this look suits me. I personally, I really like it. I'm very close to making this my everyday makeup routine just because it's very subtle it's very light i feel like i can go outside and still be my confident self but yeah i feel like this look would really look really good with like middle part straight french kiss but with that being said you guys please do not forget to hit that subscribe button i post once every week so don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you're notified whenever i upload and with that being said my name is Aziza Gooden and i will be back with another video bye